you digging this beard. Just got to get it trimmed right quick. Uh, I had to put my mic at a different spot. You know, I got to I got to pay attention to the camera instead of paying attention to the monitor and everything. Because see, it's like if I'm not paying attention to you guys, then y'all think I might be ignoring you. But I'm here. I'm here. I'm talking to you. I, I got my mic set up a different way um, from where I had it before, which is pretty cool now. I, I like it. I, I like it like this. Let's get that down just like that. And, uh, yeah. So, guys, ready? Ready for another commentary? Ready for me to come back to YouTube? I'm, I'm going to try not to get too excited, man, because I don't want to go into a coffin fit on you guys. So, let's do it. Brian Little. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Did you miss me? I'm here. Y'all know what it is. I am your humble host, Lockout Men, and we're back with another commentary for you guys. Now, look, there's a lot of stuff that's been going on. Um, I have been sick, uh, real sick. Uh, I did a video. You guys might want to check it out. It's about two hours long, though, but, um, you know, you could probably just cut through it. Um, of course, I came down with uh, COVID pneumonia. Um, got checked into the hospital, was in the hospital for about three weeks. And uh, and I'm I'm recovering. I'm, I'm doing good, doing better. Nobody ain't said nothing about, you know, or at least I haven't said anything about me dying or anything like that. But, you know, people could put their opinions on whatever they want to do. See, I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I just don't. I just don't. You know, if it's if it's not about money, making money or getting me money. Then, uh, whatever, bro. Whatever, you know. I, you know, I just tend to not uh, be privy about anything that is being said about me anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, for a lot of reasons, couple of which is number one, they're not paying me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you, you're not paying me. I'm still getting my money out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's number one. Number two, you don't know me. So until you actually come and meet me, you know, either give me a pound because I'm not shaking hands no more. Give me a pound or something like that, you know, and we'll, we'll chop it up that way. Your, your opinions of me is worth nothing. Nothing. So, I just wanted to get that out the way. And, uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm back. Back on YouTube. Um, giving some advice. Giving some tips. Uh, about to make the calls again. About to get the interviews back. Uh, check out next week. I got to... I got a couple of interviews lined up for you guys. Uh, got a got a series um, that we're gonna start. Uh, got a couple of people that I'm going to talk to that came down with the uh, with the COVID, such as myself, and uh, talk to them about their experience. And um, and yeah, you know we're gonna do that. Calls is gonna come back. You know, got a. Got a few calls that we're going to make. Got some suggestions. If you do, leave it in the comments below or 
hit me up in the DM over on Instagram. Let me know who you want to call. Now, there's going to be something different with the calls, though. You make the suggestion. I need coffee for to call. I need coffee. I need something to drink, particularly tea. I'm drinking a lot of tea now. So I need some tea. Hook a brother up with some tea. You know, cash app, dollar sign, lockout, man. So hook a brother up with some tea because I'm, I'm drinking a lot of tea now. Um, with that said, leave your suggestion on who you want me to call and, uh, and uh, hook me up with some tea. I'll get that call in for you and we'll get that information out there to you so that you uh, know what that company that you're interested in, you will, uh, you will know. And I'm, I'm glad to be back. You know, I'm glad to be a service. I'm glad to be a service. You know, you guys know me for not, you know, not no drama or anything like that, you know? So, it is what it is. Well, this commentary uh, is on uh, an email that I received from uh, from Corey. What's going on, Corey? It's a long email. So brace yourselves. Brace yourselves for this long email. All right. It says, Lockout Men, I've been watching your videos on Lockout Men podcast show on YouTube. Find them very informative and helpful. I'm looking for a career change. Well, first thing first, thank you very much, Corey. I really appreciate and, you know, it, it humbles me very to see that the information that I do bring out to you guys is actually doing something for you. I, I didn't realize that I didn't realize that, especially when I went down for for the time that I uh, that I've been sick. You know, shout out to the people that uh, that reached out to me and everything. I really appreciate it. So, Corey, thank you very much. He says, I'm looking for a career change, either temporary or permanent. I've been a paramedic for 17 years with the same service based out of my country that in, I mean, that entire time. So I have 17 years with the same employer. I haven't, I haven't had a, I haven't had a speeding ticket in over 20 years, no accidents, never done drugs. Drinking is very, very rare. And I quit smoking over six years ago. Well, Corey, no accidents. That's a good start. Uh, never done drugs. That's a that's a hell of a start right there. You know, companies, um, trucking companies. That's you know that is the killer for a lot of these guys, especially going into these trucking companies. That's that's going into. Uh, that's going into either paid trucking, you know, like a paid trucking school or going into the company themselves. That's the thing that they always get them is the drug test. And every time they come back on Facebook or something like that, they'll say something like, well, I found my drug test, how to, you know, clean out the body and you you can't you can't just clean out the body it just don't it don't work like that so if you're an avid smoker and a lot of you are i suggest to take six months so that it could clear totally clear out your body because if they doing hair follicles they're gonna know they're going to know some places do both hair follicles and the urine. Just saying hair follicles and the urine urine. They do 
both. So with that said, if you're doing drugs, just saying, you might want to leave that alone. He says, uh, I never been accused or convicted of any felons or felonies, never been arrested or to jail. I can pass. I can pass a hair follicle and a, and or a urine test without issue. So overall, I imagine I could hire on pretty much with any company. Yes, you can. And you will. He says, I'm fat. Many of us are, you know. That's not uncommon. But not unhealthy. I'm not going to do some heavy unload type work, but I'm not getting into this to do heavy touch freight anyway. Now, majority of the companies out here that's looking for candidates or looking for drivers, you know, it's pretty much 80 to 99 percent touch freight. Now, you may have to touch freight depending on the company that you go to. Now, if you go with an LTL company, nine times out of 10, you might have to touch the freight. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Nine times out of 10, you just might have to touch the freight, but you will get paid for it, though. You know, driver assist. But big companies... I don't think you had to touch the freight. You know, U.S. Express, J&R Schrugel, uh, Snyder. I don't, I don't think you had to touch the freight too much. Small companies, LTLs, you, you might have to. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He says, I prefer not to touch freight at all. I assume drive-in but not opposed to other types of hauling. Now, if you don't want to touch the freight, I suggest you not do flatbed. <laughs> I'm just saying. You, you might not want to do flatbed if you don't want to touch the freight. Um, reefer, yeah. Tanker, yeah, you're definitely not touching the freight on tanker. From my research, I keep coming back to Mills Transfer as the place I think will be best for me. I'm not ex-military, so no CDL discount for me. But $2,500 is pretty reasonable compared to, to most that aren't some kind of unemployment or Pell Grant assistance. Hmm. I get you. I got you. I make way too much money for any assistance. Now, but you, you're EMT, you're ambulance, you're paramedic, and you making cheese. Why you want to make the jump into trucking? And you've been there for 17 years? Why, why do you want to make the jump in the trucking? I mean, I'm something I'm scratching my head on. 17 years as a paramedic is not an easy feat because I'm sure you've seen a lot. You know, I'm sure you've seen a lot and did a lot in that profession. Trucking is far away from being a paramedic, bro. And you're right. You you making cheese. Now, who's now when you get your first year in trucking, there's no guarantee that you're going to make the same amount that you was making while you were as a paramedic especially in the first year, you know, and especially if you're coming in looking for companies to train you for your CDL, as well as giving you a job after training you for your CDL. 
Now, is CDL training free? <laughs> nah, nothing's free. There's always a catch. There's always a catch. Some companies for new drivers that get their CDLs through the company that they apply to, you may not be making that much CPM. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, especially in the first year, because you got to give the company about nine months to a year in order to obligate the, um, the what do you call it? Uh, you know, to obligate their, you know, to fulfill the obligation. That's what I'm looking for. Now, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, sometimes it may come to a point that you might have to leave that company before that obligation is fulfilled. And then if it's not fulfilled, oh, you, oh they definitely going to come after you for that money. If it's twenty five hundred, thirty two, whatever the amount that you pay for, they coming after you for that money. I'm just saying. So is CDL free CDL schools free? Hmm. Something to think about. Something to think about. I'm just saying. He says, uh, he says, I looked at numerous mega carriers such as Snyder. Swift, Knight, etc. I like Knight for the no force dispatch and uh, all 48 state travel. It would be nice to see most of the country being I'm from Southeast and haven't seen much of the Western half of the country. <clears throat> Not keen on them having EPUs though, or APUs. And most of their trucks have idle restrictions unless you bypass it. And then idling too much can get you questioned, he read. Yeah, some companies don't like, uh, like their trucks to be idle. Uh, some companies like J&R Swoogle has uh, an idle, by, uh, an idle uh, shutoff like, Jan or Swoogle truck shuts off in five minutes. So you can only idle the truck for five minutes. <laughs> uh, other companies don't mind you idling their trucks, but they probably, you, you might not get a, a quote unquote bonus. You see what I'm saying? You, you might not get the bonus with not idling the truck as much. But I get what you're saying, though. If it's hot as hell, if it's hot as hell, yeah, you're going to want that AC on. And if it's cold as fuck, yeah, you're going to want that heat on. So that's, that's, that's a question that you might want to might wanna ask, might want to put in. He says, no one wants to have to wait 40 degrees to turn on the heat. Or 70 degrees to turn on the AC while trying to sleep. They pay scales, if I remember correctly. Is also affected by the distance of the transport. The more miles they deliver, the less CPM is, which seems to be ridiculous to him. Like around 36 cents for over 1,000 miles and like 40 and 42 cents for miles up under 500. I agree, that's a sliding scale. You don't wanna get with a company that has a sliding scale. The more miles, you do 32, you do 32 to 3,500 miles and you're only getting paid 32 cent or 36 cent. You don't want that. Now, if you do miles around 1,000 or 500 and get paid 45, 45 cent, you, you don't want that. You don't want that. That's a sliding scale. That sucks. You know what I'm saying? You you want to get with a company that's either paying straight CPM. Straight CPM. You don't want to do no incentives. You know, no incentives. You want to know the straight CPM. How much am I getting paid from driving this truck per mile? 
You don't want them to say, oh, well, you get you get 42 cent a mile, but you get you get a five cent bonus. So that'll make it 47 cent a mile. And then if you drive and you do this, that and the third, you get three more cents. And you could make 50 cent a mile. No, no, no. What is the cent per mile? that I'm driving this truck for 40, 42 cent. Thank you. That's it. That's it. You're going to want to know how much per mile and you don't want sliding scale period. All right. He says he looked at rail and see a lot of people, some swear that they were doing what they were supposed to be doing saying that they were treated shitty or they kept getting or or they or that they kept getting sub six hundred dollars pay weeks without breakdown or specific reasons a lot of rail bashing otherwise they seem to be okay pretty much the same as Miller's transfer just not as small and doesn't give the super personal vibe that Millis does I know Homeland or Homeland <laughs> Homelander from the boys I know Heartland brought out Millis transfer in, uh, in 2019 but does not seem to affect it that much from what people have said online newer kw's only company only drive in no touch freight 55 55 to 60 percent dropping hook most people seem to be saying that they usually get around 23 to 3200 miles a week layover breakdowns don't seem to be a major issue then i think you made your decision bro I think you made your decision, partner. Just saying. So my picks at the time is number one, Millis transfer. Number two, rail. And number three, night transportation. The TLDR of this is, he wants to know, in your opinion, who is your top three companies for someone straight off the street to go with. And a short synopsis, synopsis of why you chose them. Well, look, as far as a short synopsis, I could probably give you that. I, as far as company paid schooling, I, I I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I can give you what I have came across as one of the, I wouldn't say best, but one of the top trucking companies that has paid CDL training schools. All right. Now, as far as the synopsis for each one of them, will probably be the same for all of them. Snyder. Now, listen, Snyder is boot camp. Boot camp. They're going to train you from the front of the truck to the back of the trailer. All right? They're going to they going they're going to give you they're going to give you tests on tests on tests all right so well snyder I, I will say that will be number one because they will train you right and they will train you within the 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 um the available the available stuff that they got and i said stuff man look they got tankers, flatbed, drive-in, and if I'm not mistaken, they got reefer. 
and they're going to train you well on each one of them. I'm just saying. Prime, number two, you know, they just dropped their, they just dropped their training from 50,000 miles to back to 30,000 miles. So you won't have to be stuck on a truck with a trainer for months on end. Prime. Um, now, as far as the company goes, you know, it is what it is. You know, you get you get some good and then you get some bad. But they all will say that their training for your CDLs is a good one. All right. And Maverick. Why Maverick? Maverick is a flatbed company. And they're going to train you the best. They got Maverick, in my opinion, got, got, if not, one of the best securement training uh, there is. All right. There you have it. I mean, Snyder, Prime, and Maverick. My top three? Yeah. And are they good? Yeah. Will they train you? Yeah. So if you want to go flatbed and you want the best securement training, Maverick will be the way to go. And Prime and Snyder will be the best, you know, will be the best. There are training, there are company paid training companies out here, CRST, CR England, Knight Transportation, KLLM, Rail, which Rail has a company, I mean, have a company sponsored training, but that will pay you. But you got to read the fine print on that, on that getting paid. Swift. Academy, of course, Stevens, uh, Stevens Transport, Wilson Logistics, Warner, uh, USA Truck, USA Truck. I'm not familiar with USA Truck doing paid sponsor training. I had to look into that. Carter Express, Pam Transport. And that's about that's about it that I see right here. That's about it. So thank you, Corey, for the email. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys have any questions or or anything like that, you know, let me know. Get at me. I, I I could try to answer it for you. If I can't, I will definitely research it. And then I'll try to bring the answer out to you in your email and on here on YouTube. Now, I did ask the question. So before we get up out of here, I did ask the question to Corey about his 17 year bid as a paramedic, which he still is at this current time. He still drives for, you know, the paramedics. He's still an EMT. So he's still, you know, 17, probably going into 18 years right now. And I asked the question, I said, bro, after being on your job for 17 years, why are you leaving or why are you considering leaving? And then, you know, Corey came back and he said, because he's sick of what he do. If I had to do it much longer, I might have to do something. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> wow. All right, Corey. So, like I said, you know, it sounds like you already made your decision on who you're going to go with. And look like Millis transfer is the winner, you know, for the win. Um, when you get in there. Make sure you, um, make sure you, you know, you learn everything you need to learn. Listen to everything you need to listen to. But also know this, this is a fast track type of deal. 
You know, it's definitely different from you paying. Now, you paying, slow track. You're not paying, fast track. I'm just saying. But congratulations to you, bruh. Much success to you. Um, definitely get back at me to let me know how everything worked out. And, um, and uh, yeah, keep it moving. Well, that's going to do it for the commentary today, y'all. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. Holler at your boy. I am back. Feels good. Yay. It feels good being back. Um, still got a still got a bit of pneumonia in me, but um, I'm working on getting that out. And uh, if any of you guys again have any questions or anything like that, hit me up and let me know. Until next time, everybody, y'all take it easy, and I'll holler at you later. Peace. Brian Little. <laughs>